Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Login8. In this video, I will guide you on how to add and use Zboard on Android. So if you also want to add and use Zboard on Android, this video is just for you. Follow the simple steps and you'll be able to do it. So using the Gboard application is actually very simple. For that, first of all, what you have to do is install the Gboard application. You'll easily be able to install the Gboard application from Play Store. Once you install the Gboard application, all you have to do is open it. For me, my default keyboard is already Gboard. But if your default keyboard is not Gboard, you'll have to enable it. Enabling the Gboard is actually very simple. For that, all you have to do is open the Gboard application. Once the Gboard application is open, you'll be able to find the option for enable on settings. All you have to do is tap on it. After that, you'll be able to enable the Gboard. Now, let me just open the application that lets me type. Here, I'm just going to open notes. So you can see over here Gboard looks like this. You'll be able to find several options over here. You'll be able to find several icons at the top of the Gboard. If you tap on the first icon, you'll be able to customize the Gboard. You'll be able to find several options like one-handed, text editing, share Gboard, translate, floating, resize, next language, emoji. Also, you'll be able to see other options as well. If you tap on the sticker icon, You'll be able to find the stickers over here. You'll be able to use these stickers by simply tapping on it. Let's go back. Now if you tap on the GIF icon, you'll be able to see the GIF over here. You can also see the icon for clipboard over here. Everything you copy will be displayed over here. Also you'll be able to customize the Gboard. Simply tap on this icon that you can see right over here. Now from here you'll be able to select the theme. You can see several themes over here. All you have to do is tap on the theme of your choice. Now you can also access the settings. For that, all you have to do is tap on the gear icon that you can see right over here on your screen. Now you can see over here, you'll be led to this kind of interface. You'll be able to find several settings options over here. You'll be able to find the option for languages, preferences, theme, text correction, glide typing, voice typing, clipboard, dictionary, emojis, stickers and GIFs, etc. You can add the languages in the Gboard. Simply tap on the option languages that you can see at the first. Now from here, you'll be able to add the languages. All you have to do is tap on the option add keyboard. Now from here, you'll be able to add the language. You can see several languages over here. In order to add the language, simply tap on the language that you want to add. After that, that particular language will be added. Now you can also tap on the option preferences. Now from here, you'll be able to choose the preferences. You can see several options like number row, show emoji switch key, show language switch key, etc. You can adjust these options according to your choice. You can also select the theme. Also, you'll be able to find several options like light typing, voice typing, clipboard, dictionary, etc. You can also share the Gboard if you want. You can also find the options like privacy, rate us, about, help and feedback. You can explore these options on your own. So let's go back. From the Gboard, you'll be able to type. You'll also be able to use the emoji. Also, you'll be able to use the numbers and symbols. You can also change the language very easily. You'll be able to find the icon for language over here. If you tap on it, you'll be able to change the language. You can also type in with your voice. All you have to do is tap on the microphone option that you can see right over here. After that, you'll be able to type with voice. Like this, you'll be able to use the Gboard on Android. So that is how you add and use Gboard on Android. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel.